tarot readers like this card. It's a card of wish fulfillment. You got your wish and you feel a sense of satisfaction. Maybe that's some form of material happiness. Maybe it's emotional happiness. You have the comforts that you desire. There's some gratification here, largely physical. But I have found that this card very often means the pursuit of pleasure with, without thinking about what the consequence or the price is. Now, some of you, you are living in the lap of luxury right now. Maybe, you know, you're indulging yourself right now. You're enjoying yourself. Some of you, maybe there's a connection to a wealthy man or you're wealthy. Um, but others of you, you may be dealing with somebody who's very smug. This is someone who they think they've got it all, that they're the package. So it could be a narcissist or a player uh, somebody who's very hedonistic. So it all depends on uh, what's going on. Now, this does represent Jupiter in Pisces. And so for some of you, uh, maybe that wish come true is, is working out. Maybe something you've always wanted, you're now getting it. In fact, events may give you the feeling that it's easier than you expected to get into something or get out of something, whatever your desire is. But if you strongly desire something or someone, you may have to face the truth about what the consequences are if your wish or desire actually happens. You know, this is, oh, it just got real. And it may prove more challenging than you expect or that you're prepared to handle. Now, it will be easy for you to get your way with very little effort, very little pushback, uh, and maybe you obtain something. And if you're going after something important, maybe you want a better deal or you want a better job or bigger promotion, today may be the day to present that because you might get it. But for others of you, and this seems to be a theme during this week with that devil card you had on uh Tuesday, it might be challenging to uphold your ethics in the face of a temptation or getting what you want. Now, some of you, you're going to get what you want, and when you get it, you know, it's a pretty package, but the box is empty. Something is a great deal less than you expected, or you are working against yourself with this self-indulgence. Uh, maybe you overestimate other people. Or, you know, you think they're going to come through and they're not. Or you overestimate a situation. You know, this is going to be my windfall and I'm waiting on it. Or maybe you overestimate yourself. You think you can do more or be more or that you are more than you actually are. So you have to be careful of letting your ego get the better of you and not using your common sense. In some cases, your wish is going to be delayed or it's not going to be what you expect. Uh, in other cases, you know, your wish may be denied or you, you're wanting something that's unrealistic or you're too preoccupied with the sensual, with the extravagant. And it turns out, you know, as a financial loss. Now, it can't be to the extreme. Maybe there's extreme deprivation. Uh, you're not allowing yourself to indulge at all. Uh, but for others of you, this is going too far in whatever capacity. Uh, so it could be eating or drinking or drugs or, you know, sexuality or just being narcissistic or self-centered. Uh, it could be a superficial relationship. So this is about being very mindful of what you want, why you want it what you're willing to pay for it, whether it's coming out of pocket or it's the price that you're going to pay emotionally at some point. 